It's something you might not even know about, but health officials tell us had this bioterrorism laboratory not been here during this month's ricin threat, that substance would have had to been shipped eight to ten hours away, and that's time they say could cost lives. If you have an incident where you have a possible exposure, minutes and hours count. Sheriff Ozzie Knezovic stood with city council members, state lawmakers, and health officials today as they made their case. Less money locally and from the CDC will almost certainly result in this facility's closure, possibly this year. With just one full-time employee, the lab costs $170,000 to operate each year. It serves not only Spokane, but bioterrorism services for all of eastern Washington and north Idaho. In the last seven years, it's tested more than 70 samples, including the suspicious backpack found at the Martin Luther King Jr. Parade in 2011. Spokane State Rep Marcus Riccelli says it's not just the high-profile cases we hear about, but the tests that come back negative that justify keeping the lab around. However, he says the most recent work done here involving ricin is the perfect example of why these local officials are fighting to keep the lab open. This incident highlights how critical it is that we retain this capacity in eastern Washington and is an excellent case study on why the lab exists right here. This is going to be an extreme cost to this community if we aren't able to keep the funding here. Lawmakers and health officials are hoping for leftover CDC dollars. They'll find out about that at the end of the fiscal year. They say that would only act as a band-aid for the problem and a more permanent funding solution needs to be found. And they'll continue to work at the local and federal level to make it happen. Reporting in Spokane, Casey Lund, KXOY 4 News.